I've got what I've got. Accra baffles me. There's just something about Accra. I know Accra is my friend. I know I love Accra, but I hate Accra too. There's just something about Accra, something about the kinky, something about the kilewili, something about the wachi, something about the jollof, something about the tozafi, something about the tatale and the kaklo and the chofi and the kofi broke man, something about the chorchros. Something about the markets and the yam and the spices and the sobolo and the king's bite. Something about Jamestown, the arts there, about the Osu paintings, about the aesthetics and the arrangements of the tomatoes and the fakoshita, makola, and abuglushi. The music, the fashion, the weddings, the funerals. Something about Brazil House and Bible House and Richter House and the bloodstained lighthouse. Something about the colonial buildings and the colonial memories that manifest themselves in Adabraka, Osu, Ridge, and cantonments. Something about the street hawkers, something about the tabletop shops and the coconut stops. Something about the potholes that sit on roads like bad acne. Something about the old rusty railways that are aching to tell their own Accra and Ghana stories. Something about the flooding and the fast rising high rise edifices that make the city so concrete and yet so distant and so abstract. Something about the open gutters and the moto clad zongos. Something about the Accra children running across the Accra streets in their oversized school uniforms with their gigantic school bags. Something about the ministries, the National Theatre, our independence arc. Something about the Accra lovers who walk amidst the kebab smoke and indomie vapor at 9 p.m., struggling to find space to move while they caress each other, hold hands, and compete with a taxi for the, show to, for the road's shoulder. Something about Accra Dubai. You all know it. The gaudy lights. The traffic lights that don't work. Something about the floods. There's just something nasty, offensive, awesome, tasty, disgusting, painful, scary, aromatic, glorious, and beautiful about Accra. Now Accra we do. And each day, I wake up hating to love this city that first met man over 1,000 years ago. <laughs> <laughs>